Hello everyone, my name is Alia and these are the top stories for today. Make sure you watch the entire video and share it as well. Thousands of people protested in cities across Italy on Saturday against the government's introduction of restrictions on unvaccinated people as Rome tries to slow an upturn in COVID-19 infections. Freedom and down with the dictatorship, chanted Italian flag-waving demonstrators. From the south to the north, while rain-soaked protesters in Milan shouted no green pass. The vast majority were not wearing masks. The green pass, which is an extension of the EU's digital COVID certificate, will be required from August 6th to enter cinemas, museums, indoor swimming pools, or sports stadiums. It will serve as proof that bearers have either been vaccinated, undergone a recent negative COVID-19 test, or recovered from a coronavirus infection. Business owners are expected to enforce the rules or face stiff fines under the measure adopted by the cabinet this week as it attempts to protect the slowly recovering economy and prevent further lockdowns. A proposal to make the pass mandatory for traveling by train, coach, or plane is expected to be re-evaluated in September. Better to die free than live like slaves, read one placard held up outside Milan's Gothic Cathedral, while another in Rome's historic center read, Vaccine set you free. Protesters in Genova were wearing yellow star of David badges, declaring them unvaccinated. Demonstrations had been announced on social media for Saturday in at least 80 cities. The decision Thursday to make the pass mandatory for many activities saw a boom in vaccine bookings, up 200% in Italy's smaller regions, according to COVID-19 emergency chief. Italy, one of the hardest hit by the pandemic in Europe, reported over 5,000 new coronavirus cases on Saturday and five deaths. After seven months, the Chinese authorities reported 76 new coronavirus cases in the country, including four domestic transmissions cases, leading to a drive to test millions in East Jiangsu province. Beijing has a zero-risk approach to the virus, which emerged in the central Chinese city of Wuhan in late 2019. It locks down cities and mass tests whenever small clusters appear. Tens of thousands of people are under lockdown in Jiangsu's provincial capital as authorities test the city's 9.2 million residents after an outbreak linked to its airport last week. Of the 40 domestic cases, 39 were from Jiangsu province and one from Liaoning. The National Health Commission said in a statement on Monday, adding that there had been no new deaths. Contact tracing also found five individuals who traveled through the Nanjing airport and tested positive after arriving in neighboring province, sparking fears that the cluster could lead to a fresh nationwide outbreak. Beijing has rushed to curb recent mini-outbreaks in border provinces, aware of the risk of the fast-spreading Delta variant. Beijing has tightened border controls and even supplied over 10,000 COVID-19 vaccines to the Kachin Independence Army. China has recorded 92,605 virus cases and 4,636 deaths since the initial outbreak in late 2019. Amid a sharp rise in COVID-19 cases in the province, Chief Minister Murad Ali Shah has issued directives to ban unnecessary movement after 6 p.m. The orders were issued during a meeting of the provincial task force today after reviewing the latest pandemic situation. CM Shah directed the additional IG police and Commissioner Karachi to ensure timely closure of the markets and closure of tuition centers and private gyms, which are still operating. He urged people to stay home and avoid going out without any valid reason. 
Witnessing the current abnormal COVID-19 spike, particularly in Karachi, the Chief Minister constituted a ministerial committee to sensitize all the stakeholders, including shopkeepers, traders, transporters, and politicians, to cooperate with the government in the supreme interest of public health. He said that if precautions are not taken seriously, nothing will remain under control. The committee comprises local government minister Sayyid Nasser Shah, Minister Industries Jam Ikram Dharijo, Minister Transport Awais Qadir Shah, and Advisor Law Murtaza Wahab, with the task to meet with all the stakeholders, including politicians, and sensitize them about the alarming COVID-19 situation. The Chief Minister reviewed the overall COVID-19 situation and termed it alarming. Briefing the meeting, Health Secretary Dr. Kazim said, that the COVID-19 detection ratio in the province has reached 12.7%, which was the highest in the fourth wave. This is quite a critical situation, he said. After reviewing ventilator facilities at government hospitals, the chief minister said that hospitals were coming under pressure and directed the health secretary to make COVID facilities at three hospitals of the labor department, police hospital, Layakadabad, and new Karachi hospitals. In recent news, the Minister of Information and Broadcasting, Fawad Chaudhary, announced that Pakistan will be entering into the eSports scenario for the first time. Dubbed as ePAC, this tournament is aimed to promote eSports culture among potential competitive gamers. The first eSport league funded by the overall effort will be the Free Fire Pakistan League, which is the highest level professional competition in the world featuring the sports Free Fire. Moreover, the ministry will be engaging closely with the respective esports titles in the nation in order to bring further awareness of EPOC and enabling gamers to pursue careers as esports athletes. Pakistan is aiming to host the esports competition with a prize pool of Rs 10 million and the winner will be able to compete in a worldwide tournament with a prize pool of $2 million. According to the minister, this is an amazing opportunity for youngsters to follow their passion and become millionaires at the age of only 12. Moreover, 567 teams would compete in this event, which would promote the concept of esports in the country. Thank you for watching the news. Please listen and share with others. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Bye.